unit six, we're on to learning goal number four, and it is about converting common metric measurements involving weight and capacity. Yep. So make sure to jot that down in your brand new page in your math journal. And the first idea is we just want to make sure that you understand the difference between capacity and volume. Mm -hmm. So um, recreate this little Venn diagram in your in your math notes because it's just an important idea. Capacity is when we're talking about the measure of the amount of space um, occupied by a liquid. And oops, oh yeah. So here's my little pictures to um, help you out with that. So when you're mm -hmm. talking about any kind of liquid, milk, juice, water, power, tea. <laughs> All that good stuff. Um, you are figuring out how much space is occupied within that container. Now, um, for volume, the biggest difference then is we're dealing with solids. So mm -hmm. um, we have like our washing machine and ooh, a treasure chest nice. and refrigerator. All of those, we are figuring out how much space it takes to fill up those items. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, there's something that they have in similar, though. It's still talking about the amount of space that's inside that object. Yep. So just take a moment to recreate your little Venn diagram there. Come up with some examples so that stands out to you. Mm -hmm. All right, now this is where it gets a little trickier, I think. Um, right now we're going to focus just on metric measurements. And for some of you, you probably have heard of some of these before. Like, first of all, I guess I should start in the middle here. And I sort of like to just turn this so we can sort of look from the left mm -hmm. into the right here. But um, we're going to start just right in the mid middle. <laughs> I was thinking of meters already. <laughs> um, and sometimes you might hear about a meter or a liter or a gram. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you go to the left, well, Think about going to the left first. Mm -hmm. um, when you do that, each time or each step that you move to the left or go up, um, you are increasing and multiplying by 10. So it's sort of nice and easy because here I am multiplying by 10. Here I'm multiplying then by 100 because 10 times 10 equals 100. Mm -hmm. And then our next step would be um, thinking about thousands then. So if you're thinking of like things that are equivalent, if we have one meter that is equivalent to say a thousand kilometers. So that's just the prefix that goes with mm -hmm. it. Yep. And so then if we're going back to our base, just to start us off here, mm -hmm. and now we're going to go to the right, we're going to get smaller mm -hmm. by 10 each time. So um, we have a decimeter and that would be a little bit smaller than a meter mm -hmm. by 10 actually. And then our next step would be centimeter. And here sometimes you might think about, oh, yeah, centa, like as in century, that's 100 years. Mm -hmm. This is getting smaller by mm -hmm. 100. And then one more step would be millimeter or milliliter. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting smaller mm -hmm. by 1,000 if we're starting right here at our base again. Mm -hmm. So um, just take a moment to, first of all, just think about, okay, so which one is bigger, a kiloliter one kiloliter or one liter mm -hmm. and hopefully you would think about that yeah a kiloliter is actually much bigger mm -hmm. than a liter yep. then we're going to think about okay well which one is smaller a milli milliliter or just a one liter mm -hmm. and a milliliter is going to be much smaller than one liter so now that you know sort of which ones are bigger, which ones are smaller, now we're going to figure out how to actually convert from one to another. And this is going to look tricky, and you know, honestly, when I was a kid, this used to confuse me, but once you figure out the pattern, the metric system is actually very, very simple. Mm -hmm. So now that you've got the hang of what that stair step looks like, you should actually draw in the stairs. And I know that seems kind of tedious, but... It will help you when you go to actually moving the decimals, which we're going to talk about in a second. So draw in your little stairs, write down like liter, meter, gram, and then just do the abbreviations of these prefixes. Um, that will help you. And then, um, so pause it and do that and then come back and we'll talk about how to actually convert 
one to another. Okay, so the reason I wanted you to write that is because a lot of times when I try and figure this out, I actually write this number on the step that it belongs. That's sort of the trick that I use. So if I had one kiloliter, I would write the one on this top step because this is where the kilo is. And I need to convert it to liters. So liters is way down here on the base, so I need to think of how many steps down am I going. I want to go one, two, three. So what I do in that case is I move my decimal three places to the right because that's the way that I'm climbing. I'm climbing down three. So if I had one and I move my decimal one, two, three, and I wish I could figure out how to make that work on this video, but <laughs> imagine the little loops yeah. going under. All those loops need to now be filled in with zeros. So I had my one, one, two, three steps, fill them in with three zeros. So one kiloliter is actually equal to... 1,000 liters. Now one question I have is why were you, I don't see a decimal here, why can you just put a decimal after the one? Well any whole number has a decimal at the end of it. Any, I could put a decimal at the end of all of these. So okay. yeah, no matter what, if you've got a whole number the decimal would be at the end. And there could be zeros at the end of that. Mm -hmm. Infinite number of zeros. <laughs> Um, okay, so the second one, 1,500 milliliters. So again, I look where my milliliters is on my steps down here. So I would put 1,500. This time, I am going up the steps. So I am going to the left. So if I have my decimal here, and I'm going up three steps, I'm going to move my decimal three places to the left. So if it was here, one, two, three, so I would have one, 0.5 or 1 in 5 tenths liters. And the next <clears throat> one, hopefully this is starting to you know click with you. Mm -hmm. 3,000 liters, so I am now on my base. My base is 3,000, and I'm going to kiloliters. So kilo is again is up here, so I'm going to be climbing 1, 2, 3 to the left. So I'm going to move my decimal 1, 2, 3 to the left. I should end up with just 3. Mm-hmm. Or if I wanted to put my decimal on 3.0, but 3 kiloliters. And then the last one that I'm going to do for you mm -hmm. is 250 liters. So again, I start here at the 250, and I am going to kiloliters again. So I'm going to be moving my decimal back three places. So 1, 2, 3. Wait. Why did we end up? We did it wrong, you guys. Oh my goodness, it should be 0.25. I think we meant to go to milliliters. Whoops. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh, well, we all make mistakes. <laughs> At least we knew the right answer when we did it. We just didn't do it when we were making the, the slideshow. <laughs> Whoopsies. Should have been 0.25. If we were going to milliliters, though, then it would have been yes. 250,000. Oh, yikes. Whoops. Okay. Hopefully you guys caught our mistake, too. <laughs> all right. Now, these are four that you are going to try on your own, and then we will come back and show you the answers. So again, if it helps you, write it right on your step and actually move it, physically move it. So, okay, so our first one, 2.5 grams. So I'm starting here and I'm going to milligrams. So I'm gonna move my decimal one, two, three to the right. One, whoa, one, two, three to the right. We should end up with 2,500 milligrams. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's a little stressful. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> All right, this time we have four <laughs> kilograms. So four is right up here, there. and we're converting to grams. So one, two, three, because grams is our base. So we move our decimal one, two, three, and we should end up with 4,000 grams. Hopefully you all got that. <laughs> This time we're starting with 5,000 milligrams, and we are converting to grams, so one, two, three. So we should move it backwards, one, two, three, and we should end up with five grams. All right, here's the test. See if I got the last <laughs> one right. 500 milligrams, we are going to grams, so one, two, three, backwards. One, two, three, backwards, it should be 0.5. Woo! 
Woo! Oh, we got yeah. it. <laughs> it's only one mistake. All right. Phew. <laughs> we could pretend like we meant to do that and see if they caught it. Right, right. All right. So those were the examples. Hopefully you guys were able to get those. Um, now it is your turn. You mm -hmm. have four questions to try and convert, and we numbered them for you, so please number them in your journal. And we do want you to actually write out the whole thing. So write out 4.5 liters equals, and then you'll fill in the blank. Yep. Right? And, um, yeah, please refer back to that stair step. You're going to want to make sure it's nice and neat, and if you need to recopy it, you might want to because mm -hmm. you'll be using it a lot this year. Very, unit. very helpful. Mm -hmm. All right, so good luck, and we will see you tomorrow.